Ready to go? Ready to go. All right. It started. That's a good thing. Had a great late night sit down with uh, the family, my aunt and uncle, and my cousin and her family, and uh, we had some pizzas. They bought some pizzas, so we had some pizza when we, when we arrived. Had some beers, chatted till around 12, went to bed, got this morning, did our showers and shaves, and uh, well, I did my shaving. I'm all clean. I did too. Yo, you did your shaving? Oh, there we go. So showers and shaves, shaves and showers. And I uh, just had some, uh, a little bit of a omelet, or sort of scrambled eggs, and sat with my aunt. Uh, my uncle had to go play golf. He had scheduled some golf. So everybody else works. It's, uh, what, Tuesday afternoon, so everybody else has to work. My aunt is retired, so she's just doing some gardening today. But we have decided to stop in uh, we'll probably make a couple stops between here and there, but we're headed to Medicine Hat, right? Was it Medicine Hat or? Moose Jaw. Moose Jaw. So yeah, Moose Jaw is our destination for today. So let's get going. All right. Oh, we haven't got our food yet. No. Ah. So Caroline stopped in a very small town. We're not sure exactly what this little town Indian is. Head. Indian Head, right. So we are probably like an hour or less away from... Regina? Regina. I don't know. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, we're really, really close, close to Regina. Yeah. And then we're going to be going a little bit further for people who don't know. To Moose Jaw. Nice. That's where we're hanging out tonight. Touch service. That's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Table service. Oops. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good So, what'd you get? Chicken strips. Chicken strips. And, and fries. gravy. I think there was a shortage on fries. Oh boy. What the heck? I did onion rings, of course. Chocolate shake. And I did the, I haven't had this in years. <coughs> The flamethrower burger, and it has a flamethrower sauce on there. There it is. Look at that. Oh boy. Oh, look how soft that bun is. Ooh, so you do a test of that. That is soft. Let us know if it's. Well, what sausage? Is it just plum? Yeah, plum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Similar. So, man, I guess so. I can smell something in here. Mm -hmm. Is it spicy, yeah? Yeah. It's supposed to be spicy. It's a lot, well, it's steaming. When's the last time you had one of their chicken things? It's been a while, like years. A very long time. Yeah. But it was either Subway, Tim Hortons, which we've done already, and uh, of course, Dairy Queen. So, gotta try that milkshake. Show the logo. 
Mm. Milkshakes at Dairy Queen are the best. Oh my gosh, it's so slippery. Look at that. Double patty. Oh, there's a sauce in the bottom. Cheese, double patty, bacon, lettuce, tomato. I don't think there's onion, but let's bite it. Oh my gosh. Oh, boom. Oh, that's got a bite. That's definitely got a bite. Woo. Let's do another bite just for you guys. Mm. When I was a kid, or a young adult, one of my favorite burgers right there. Not that they had the uh, flame flower back then that I remember, but they, uh, they just their burgers themselves they just had that really good backyard barbecue flavor to them. Of course, I have onion rings. Got to do our famous vinegar white vinegar put that all over she gave me two so I'm gonna go all out just load it up soak it maybe, maybe tip it over a little bit get both sides there we go get our salt and <laughs> Oh my goodness. Cheers. Mm. You didn't just drop an onion ring. I did. Oh. I probably rescued it and put it into my belly. All right, we're going to finish this all up and then we'll continue on our way to Moose Jaw. Mm. Ah, oh, oh my get goodness. Get your paws out of there. Mmm, those look good. They are. You can have one. Maybe Compared two. to that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I just looked it up. Yeah, you're welcome. Just looked it up, and it's uh, 144 kilometers from here to Moose Jaw, and, which is about a, an hour and 22 minutes. Uh, as soon as we get into town, we're just going to, like, look our best for the best place to sleep tonight because it's been a very long time since I've been to Moose Jaw. I have no idea where we can legally sleep. So we'll find a spot. Hey, can we walk over to the Indian Head? Sure. Let's go check out the Indian Head. Let me go over the other camera. Red Hat. Indian Head. Indian Head over there. Information closed. Beautiful sunsets. Huh. Nice little log cabin. Check out the huge Indian head. Thank you for visiting Indian Head. Very cool. That is one big Indian head. Sorry about the wind. Past, present, and future generations dedicated to. Hmm. Official unveiling August 4th, 1985. Very cool. Red River Cart, 1800s. I love the fact that it was like easy to repair because the way they made it, it was just wood and, and rawhide and just pulled by horses and stuff. That's what you have to do. Now we have sprinters. <laughs> Indian Head, Saskatchewan. That is a very nice sign. I guess Jerry Mart's pretty good. Oh, right, yeah. 
Dairy Queen. So gas here was $1.86.9. Diesel was uh, 2 dollars Oh, yeah? Yeah. My turn to drive. Is it? Sure, you can relax. Okay. Let's get going. Boston pizza. Yeah. They got a giant tiger. They've got ice cold beer. Or is that bear? <laughs> oh, they got a car on the top of this building over here. Motel Capone's Hideaway. Apparently, there's an underground tunnel system here. Yes, from the days of moonshining and speakeasies. I love speakeasies, they're the coolest things. Main Street and Manitoba Street. Off to our left, looks like an old theater. Not a theater anymore. Whenever I see a town or a city like this, I always try to compare it to something else. And I don't think I can compare, compare this to anything else. Maybe a few cities I've seen in the United States, but in Canada, this is pretty uh, pretty unique. It's re got really wide streets. A lot of cities and towns that I've been to, they're smaller streets because I never thought they'd grow big. But uh, Moose Jaw figured it out. all over the windshield and <laughs> I get a special cloth clean that up we got Burger King McDonald's a and W Sobeys lots of stuff oh uh, yeah so there was an old Canadian tire back way back behind us and obviously they built a brand new one they're doing the same one they're doing the same design as in uh, Oh really? Yeah, they built a Canadian Tire right beside an old Canadian Tire. Oh, they got a Montana's, Staples, and there's the Walmart. I'm just going to take a peek to see if there's other RVs setting up camp. Yep, there they are. So there's the Walmart Superstore or Supercenter. We got one, two, three, and then we've also got a car here that people are sleeping in. Looks like they're setting up a little, what do you call that? Shade. shade there for privacy. Are they already? Like, yeah, some people just want to go to sleep, get up early. These people are taking up getting six ready. spots. <laughs> yeah, when you have a big rig like that, you gotta figure that out. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. Carol did uh, at least five hours of the driving today. At least? I don't know. I think so. When we left uh, Winnipeg, I drove for the first maybe hour and then um, I wanted to get some stuff done on the computer and launch a video and uh, so Carol started driving and then after I did some of the stuff on the computer I just wanted to try to see if I could fall asleep in the back and it's like 
trying to sleep in a washing <laughs> in a washing machine, especially the roads out here They're, are just the roads are terrible. awful, awful roads. So it's just like, <laughs> brum, 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 brum. so it just felt like you're in this broken washing machine trying to sleep. But uh, it is doable. If you're tired enough, you definitely would crash. And it was just kind of fun lying down in the, in the back in a full queen size bed. Uh, but Thanks for hanging out with us. And thanks for driving on that way. That was great. That helped out a lot. Thanks for editing videos and stuff. Oh, no problem. That's my <laughs> job. Hey anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with us and uh, thanks for all your support. See you in the next video. Bye.